rewarding aspects of my job without a doubt is going into the field with people, usually my students, but when you get an opportunity to bring a mixture of students and volcanology experts from all over the world to such an incredible place, the enthusiasm, the passion, the arguments, the you know everything that comes out of it is just it's just amazing. It's, a, it's an experience that everybody will not only benefit from, and science will benefit from, but everybody's just gonna have so much fun out there. People have different perspectives because they work in different areas, they work in different like details. And then when people come together and just discuss that, that's also really important. So I think it's already a good success. Yeah, just that scientists from all around the world come together. So therefore I think conferences in general are really important, just that people meet and interact together. We have to be prepared for an eruption next time because society expects that there is someone that can take care of them or at least knows something, knows about a threat. We're all checking the weather. In a similar way we want to have an idea of what the volcano might do. So we do need to be looking at volcanoes and hopefully be better prepared in the next time in an event close to a, a large population center. You know, I looked on Google Earth and I'd seen photographs of it before, but still the scale of it is different when you're there. It's good to see it in real life. The thing is you do sometimes forget the setting, so like there's a volcano next to you and you forget it's there. And then you turn around and there it is again, which you don't get that feeling at all when you're reading and looking at pictures. I'm especially spoiled because this is the first place that I've worked extensively as a you know, as a researcher, as a graduate student. It really is like a destination that if you're a volcanologist, you, you want to come to. It's, it's one of the, it's in the top three destinations for volcanologists on their, on their volcanology bucket list. So to be able to share, you know, my story, my work that I've done out here with these people that are excited to come to one of the most exciting, you know, eruptions, to see one of the most exciting eruptions in the world will be a lot of fun. I think overall this, this field trip has just been, I think it's been everything that I hoped it would be. The students who were nervous and shy or quiet initially spoke up and they found their confidence, they found a way to share what they were thinking and share their questions and I think field trips like this are, are critical for that. They're, they're some of the places that we learn the most that we really can advance our science and having the students there with their fresh, unbiased, clear minds they always bring something that I haven't thought of, that our other experts in the field hadn't even thought of yet. You know, we had two beautiful days, two amazing hikes, saw incredible exposures, and I think everybody will leave Mount St. Helens happy.